Grand Rising, my genuine gems. I'm drinking on me a nice cold Dr. Pepper this morning. So let's make some tuna. Um, I've made tuna a variety of ways. This is just one way I like to make it. And fun fact about me, I was a vegetarian in high school. Um, so I still would eat like eggs, but just no meat. And um, since then, I've tried a lot of different vegan or vegetarian recipes. Y'all know it's a difference. Um, and there's some that I've come to enjoy. So I'm using chicken of the sea. I have two cans of that. And the reason I mentioned the vegan and um, vegetarian, because I'm gonna be trying two different uh, like vegan based mayos. So this one is my preferred brand so far. They are a little expensive, but I like this one the most. And then I seen that Hellman's has one. So I'm gonna also try Hellman's. So in one bowl, we're gonna prepare the one with Hellman's. And in the second bowl, we're gonna prepare the one with Follow Your Heart. I'm just opening the bottles so they can be, there we go. They came in my um, order that I have from Amazon this morning. I hope y'all having a great morning so far. Make sure we get all of it out of there. For this particular recipe, I mean, y'all can make it however you like, but I just ask that you please try it this way uh, because I've had it with the um, Follow Your Heart brand and it's really good. I enjoyed it. So, hence, what brought about this, uh, you know, trial to see which one I like best because in my city, the Follow Your Heart brand for that size is like $12. And then the Hellman's is only like two. Okay, let me set this to the side too. So what I like to do is work on our other ingredients. So I have chosen four stalks of celery. <laughs> yeah, I might be a little tongue tied this morning. But four stalks of celery um, that I've already kind of washed and got together. I'm just gonna finely chop them one by one. One, and then I'll chop it up a little bit more after I do the second one. And I'll just kind of go back over these a little bit because I want them like really fine. I know what frying a chop is. I'm gonna put this in bowl number one. And then I'm gonna get started on the next two stocks. So, this recipe calls for a red onion. I mean, you can use any onion you like, but I'm just going to tell you guys how to make it and if you want to try it that way. So, red onion, celery, mayo, of course. In this case, I'm using the two different ones that I showed. Capers and dill. And then, you know, maybe like some salt and pepper to taste. And 
but I may put a little bit of mustard. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. So I'm just kind of, I think I'm going to try it without the mustard first and compare the two where it's just both of the vegan mayos so I can get a better representation of how the qualities are against each other and then I may just tweak it and add some mustard, you know, later on. Now, let's cut these up smaller. Smaller. Chop them smaller. Chop them smaller. Chop them smaller. Now, this is a good um, healthy snack idea, lunch idea. Um, See if the kids like it because it's easy. It's just tuna, you know. So with me, I give me some tuna and crackers or a tuna sandwich. Either way, either way, uh, I'm good. Okay, wait. I got a couple more big pieces. I have a whole red onion that I'm going to cut in half because I'm going to put half into each bowl. up small too. I'm sure if you know bigger pieces you're welcome to do it. I just try to do mine a little bit like smaller. And that's all to the good job. This is supposed to be a quick little recipe so I'm not going to spend too much time on it. And I already feel like I had because I had to pause because the TV and then the dog and, you know. But this is really a quick recipe if you could just, you know, do it and not have 59,000 distractions. Okay, uh, And then the trick to getting the onion smell or stench off of your hands when you're done with it would be, you know, the faucet part, the, uh, what do you call that, like the, uh, 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 uh what is it called, like the, the part that the water come out, um, if you rub your hands on there. I hate wasting food, y'all. I truly do. That's something in my spirit. Uh, you know, they say waste not, want not. Sinus is nice and open now, baby. <laughs> I can tell you that. I'm just going to save this other part of the onion. Because there's plenty of onion. I was kind of split them up as I was cutting them up. So I just saved that because I'm really done with it. It doesn't matter. It's only one can in each bowl, so. Got some little crumbs here. Hang on, guys. I'm gonna get rid of these crumbs. Um, I'm 
just because this was fresh too, y'all. Yeah. So let's see. I don't know how much I want to need right now. Kid with you got that baby. This one. This one's over there. That onion got my dang nose open. If I had a sinus problem, but I don't got it now. So, yeah. It should be enough. It should be plenty enough deal for you Bow number one. So we're going to use Follow Your Heart in this bow and then the Hellman's in this bow. Now, I don't know how much uh, I can see. Put the Hellman's to the side so I can see what's let me try two scoops. I'm sure I'm gonna need a little more. I like mine nice and creamy. Y'all, I'm forgetting my dang on papers. So, let's see. I use drained tuna and then I'm using these capers. Let me try. Y'all yeah, know I don't usually measure, so we're gonna do like a couple teaspoons of capers and see what we looking like. And then if it's not enough, we will just joyfully and gratefully add some more. Like I'm about to do with this follow your heart, veganaise, because I'm looking at it, I can tell it ain't got enough mayonnaise. Okay, let's do two more. Okay. Make sure it's all well incorporated. Now I see how nice and creamy that is. That's plenty of mayo. So I'm done with this one. Y'all gonna the crackers. Yeah, I'm done with that mayo. And then after I sprinkle a little pepper, I'm gonna I just open these crackers so I can try it for y'all. Gotta put my pepper. Now the other like tuna tuna I've made. I guess this is more like a tuna salad. I don't really know. But um, I use like relish and stuff. But this is more like a tuna salad that I've uh, tried that one of my girlfriends had had like at uh, I forgot where she said she was originally. Okay. So that's what we got going on with that. Now let's try it. Nice healthy scoop, y'all, right? Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Now we got the Hellman's. Mm. God, that's good. Still a, a rich consistency, y'all see that? 
and slid right off the spoon. This is very smooth and rich. And smooth and creamy, I mean. Look at that. And this one's only $2. So, kind of banking on this one here. I've never tasted, I didn't even like, you know, like lick the thing or nothing. So I'm trying to wait till I can taste it in here. Oh, screw it, I'm the only one eating it. I'm gonna taste just a little. Mmm, not bad. It's like a real smooth texture. Um, as far as the flavor, I didn't really taste the mayonnaise flavor. So let me just check it out more when I get into the tuna. And I gotta put the capers in here too. Swishing my mouth out, y'all, so I can clear my palate a little bit. I'm gonna incorporate this just to hear more. And then I gotta put some papers in. Okay, that's pretty well incorporated. Paper me, baby. Come on. I had to drain the juice, so they kind of like sticking. Okay, there we go. Ooh. That looks like plenty to me. We might not. Well, let me do just like a little more. Mm. All right, that's good. I'm gonna just. I'm not gonna fight with them this morning. Mm -mm. Nope. I choose my battles wisely, baby. Okay. Okay, that's pretty well incorporated. Y'all see it's some different pieces of onions, variety, texture, whatever. Okay. Mmm. After that spoon, it was good. It's real creamy, y'all. Creamy and smooth. I will say that. Excuse me. Another healthy scoop, right? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Wow. I can't believe I'm gonna this. I can't choose one. Wait a minute, I'm gonna try, mm, you know what? I can't believe, I feel like I'm gonna trade on Follow Your Heart because I feel like this one is what, let me, let me try it one more time, y'all, hold up. Let me my palette again. I'm gonna be fair. Last time I tried Follow Your Heart first and then this one, so I'm gonna try this one first and then try Follow Your Heart again. Oh wee. Baby, this is good. I'm trying to give me the right, the perfect uh, scoop. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. And I just remembered I ain't put no pepper in this second one, but that's fine. Mm. But it's just smooth and creamy is all I can really say. Okay, palette's clear. And this is back to follow your heart. Give me a healthy dip. Oh boy, that was a real healthy dip. Okay. Okay, so both of them are good, but I would say for Follow Your Heart, I would give them a nine and a half out of ten, and for Hellman's, I give them a ten out of ten. Okay, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Now, I'll see y'all on the next video. Yeah.